Oceans make up 70% of the Earth's surface, acting as giant heat sinks that absorb and mitigate changes in our atmosphere, making them especially vulnerable to climate change. Now, you may have heard of things like ocean acidification or shifting currents as a result of climate change, but another effect we're starting to see is an increase in ocean stratification, or the separation of deep, cold, anaerobic waters from shallow, warmer, highly oxygenated waters. And this is important for a few different reasons. You see, water, or H2O, is able to store additional dissolved molecules like carbon dioxide, CO2, and oxygen, O2, within this mixture of what we call water. And this is what fish breathe, for example. You know, their gills filter ocean water to separate O2 molecules from the H2O molecules. Now, the upper layer of our oceans, or the trophic layer, is where that dissolved oxygen occurs the most often, whereas the lower layer of our oceans, or the benthic layer, is much deeper and generally lacks that dissolved oxygen that life needs to survive. Now, normally, strong currents all around the world create upwellings in this cold water that brings it to the surface to become oxygenated while sending warm oxygen rich water down to provide nutrients to the depths but with climate change we're seeing that the upper trophic layer of the ocean is warming much faster than the bottom layer which creates differences in densities between the two that makes them behave differently from one another and thus mix less now this creates a stratification effect that further increases the differences between the two layers and makes it more difficult for life in the ocean depths to survive without that influx of oxygen and nutrients which threatens to collapse food webs and whole ecosystems. As everything in our terrestrial land-based ecosystems relies on these oceanic systems, this could have huge impacts on how well life on our planet is able to survive in the coming decades.